When I was teaching, quite a few times students would come up to me and say, Alf, look, I can't make the class. Can you give me the handout? So I started thinking about it. Yes, I give them the hand, handout. They don't have to attend. And they get that information without attending class. So I thought, well, I got to do something. I got to be a little bit creative about this. So I came up with the lunch bag idea of putting in something that is visual. And so when they came to me later on, when they start coming back, they say, oh, can I have the handout? And I hand them the lunch bag. And they'd look at me and say, the lunch bag? I said, yeah, have a look inside. So they would open it up. And they'd bring out and said, well, a can of water, what does that mean? Well, if you were in class, you came to class, you would have an idea what all these objects are and how you could use them. So when I was explaining what it was, we'd look at the can and say, well, yeah, if you're in a position, say you're, doing, you're a supervisor and you're doing supervisory training and you use this with working, doing group work, they pull it out and say, well, water, what does that mean? Well, you got to keep things flowing. You got to keep people refreshed as you're going through. So this is becoming creative and thinking of what that actually means. So also being a supervisor, pull out the elastic. Well, what does this mean? You know, I got the, well, let's start thinking about it. Some people say you got to be flexible. That's one of the things. We can't sort of have everything carved in stone. Sometimes we have to be flexible and we can be creative. We can come up with different ways of looking at things. Next one pulled out was a crayon. And of course a crayon can mean many things, but we're dealing with diverse groups. And also, are we colorful when we're making our presentation or working with staff that they want to come back like, hey, this is great. It's just not black and white. We add many things to come up with different solutions. Next one is when we look at a puzzle. And they're looking in the bag and they say, well, how many squares do you see? Well, people will count them up and of course you can see 16 and you look at the other one and say, well, I can see 17 squares. Well, believe it or not, there's 30. 30 squares. And they say, well, okay, 30 squares, what does this mean? Well, sometimes when you look at things, it's not as simple as it looks. You need to get a little bit more information. And, of course, we all need a little bit of motivation. And this one that I found really reflective, and this happened to me when I was doing a presentation for the Ontario Camps Association, I was handed this article or this saying before I actually did my presentation. And I'll share it with you. You never know. You know, never know when someone may catch a dream from you. You know, never know when a little word or something you may do may open up the window of a mind that seeks the light. But the way you live may not matter at all, but you never know it might. And just in case it could be that another's life through you might possibly change for the better with a broader and brighter view. It seems it might be worth a try at pointing the way to what's right. Of course, it may not matter at all, but then it can, it might. This was taken from International Rotary Club back in 1905. Now, as we've seen, we've seen the objects in the bag, but have we considered the outside? In order for this to happen, you notice the bag was closed, so we have to open. Okay, we have to open up and work with these. We just can't keep it enclosed here by itself. The other one is, you'll notice, got some red tape. That sometimes we have to go through some red tape to actually get to what we really want to do. Here we go. Oh, we're sizzling. 